This teapot is so much bigger on the inside. I can't believe it. Thank you for inviting me. It's always nice to broaden one's horizons. I find it quite splendid. In my line of work, I'm lucky if I get to spend a couple months out of the whole year in such comfortable surroundings. I can certainly think of several examples that fit that description. There was the time we had to dive into icy water during the dead of winter to intercept some smuggling ships. Or when we carried out a search for several days straight with no sleep to apprehend a fugitive. Luckily, the thick soles on our shoes make them extremely durable. Then, of course, there was also the time during the summer when we had to hide ourselves in some bushes along a river while we waited to ambush a suspect. There were a lot of poisonous insects around the river at that time of year, with bites that can be quite deadly. But most insect repellents have a pungent odor that, if used, would have exposed our position. So, all I could do was advise the members of my platoon to keep their skin covered and remain in position until the suspect emerged and began to trade the stolen goods for Mora. In the end, we managed to apprehend the suspect and the goods. But a few members of my platoon passed out from heat stroke and were indisposed for quite some time. Uncomfortable is part of the job, but we're used to it. After all, ensuring peace for the citizens of Fontaine is no small matter. But <sighs> the number of guards that have been injured in the line of duty has been increasing lately. I should submit a request to the Maison Guardianage to increase compensation for injured guards. This teapot is so much bigger on the inside. I can't believe it. Thank you for inviting me. It's always nice to broaden one's horizons. Get some rest, traveler. I'm going to make a few more rounds on patrol to walk off some recent transgressions of the food variety.